Hello art fam, it's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and welcome to the studio. If you're new here, this is where we use collage to play this game of low risk and high reward. Uh, it's not beautiful outside, but it was yesterday, so I'll take it, and I'm still glowing. I have my coffee, what do you got? Mm, listen, before we jump in, I want to remind you, press like, subscribe, but more importantly, uh, become a member. Join the Art Fam. Uh, we are coming up on our uh, March Hangout, which happens uh, the last week of the month. Every last week of the month on a Saturday, we get together and do a Zoom, and it's just great fun. So come on in and join that. $5 gets you in the door. Uh, as a patron, and then $10 gets you a monthly uh, copyright-free collage kit, digital, and uh, $30 gets you an actual physical, I don't have one around me, but a physical collage kit in the mail in the US um, with loads and tons of fun. I have some really exciting stuff up my sleeve. Um, so I want to do something different today because uh, you know the world is shifting so I want to shift along with it right uh, so I wanted to make something a little bit uh, meaningful well everything's meaningful but a little bit more personal I want to say I wanted it excuse me my coffee's getting a revenge um, and I wanted to kind of play with scale as well so um, I did a drawing the other day because I was at Chelsea Market which is like this tourist trap where there's tons of people and um there's a lot of food and it's overpriced, but it's it's an interesting atmosphere. Uh, that's where the Food Channel has their headquarters. Um, but I was sitting down eating my halva ice cream and I saw a picture of a saint. And I thought, wow, what a beautiful image. It kind of stayed with me, so I kind of want to do something with it. So I did a sketch of, um, of it, of how it played out in my head. And then of course I thought, well, I don't want to just make a saint. I have no connection to the saint, right? So what do I have? And then our March kit, I added a picture of Elvis. So I'm going to draw a picture of Elvis in accordance to my sketch and collage that. So I think this is going to be a multiple part uh, endeavor. So maybe in this video i'm just gonna sketch him out um which is something that i haven't done in real time or at least not recorded it and here's the thing don't be afraid about drawing a lot of people take it really personal when you're painting a portrait of them and there is no likeness but who cares like the likeness is the easiest thing take a picture it lasts longer right uh or you can even just like project and trace whatever to me as an artist i really have a good time uh, finding the lines and being present as I'm doing it. So there's many ways to go about it. I can literally just trace it. But today I want to draw and, um, and do that with you. So join me. Um, get your coffee. Let me know how you are in the comments. Um, but take a look at this. Okay, so here is my sketch that I did. Uh, and uh, isn't this beautiful neon washi tape? So it's kind of, it's a... It was the head of a saint with a really big uh, crown. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a saint. Maybe it was like a lord. I don't know. But if you recognize it, let me know. And in my head, I like the idea of having him crying beams of light and then having tiles. Or you know how I love my uh, square hole puncher? Having a mosaic around it, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but I thought, of course... This image is always so funny to me because Elvis literally looks like this. It's just really sweet and his eyes are really big like a cartoon. So I thought, hmm, so this is tiny and I'm going to blow it up. Again, there's many ways of doing this. You can put it in a grid and draw it out that way. But uh, I think for me, for Fong, as a challenge, I'm just going to freehand it. Uh, this is my huge Bristol board. It's uh, 19 by 24 and it's... This is the paper that I collage in, or the, what I like to use as a substrate. It's sturdy, it takes on uh, wet media, so it's um, wet medium. So it's, it's, a great, it's a great place to start if you wanna play with paint and stuff and, and thick markers, right? So I'm just gonna take a page out. Isn't this, I mean, there's nothing more beautiful than like a clean canvas, right? Okay, so let me. 
I also figured at some point I'm gonna have to like change the setup because this is really big. Uh, look how fun! Even just like playing with the light, you see how it turns pink. It's just endless possibilities. So let me move this out of the way. Okay, so how are you? How is life treating you? Tell me. I want to know what, what what's what's the tea in the street. Um, what? Uh, let's see. Okay, so spring is here. I hope you um, I hope you're doing something fun, you guys. I hope we're all doing something fun. Last week, uh, I went out a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I kept posting things from my travel, from my adventures in the streets. Um, it was fun. Okay, so. I have this just regular pencil that I was going to use, but you probably won't pick it. Probably won't pick it up in the camera, so I won't use that. I have this uh, blue Conte. I think it's Conte. The, 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 so here's the problem, or not the problem, but what happens? Is my hands are very moist, so this is a watercolor <laughs> tool. So as I'm going, like it just turns into a mess. So whatever. So here we go. I'm just going to draw. So again, when you're drawing and drawing from observation, think about basic shapes, right? If something's round, think of a circle. If something's straight, think of a edge or, or an oval or a square or a triangle. That's, that's your language. Um, those basic shapes. Uh, but also just kind of a good place to start actually is with your finger right so i'm just gonna kind of muscle memory right like okay yeah yeah and that might do absolutely nothing but i'm kind of aligning myself with this right and again this might be a shit show and i might not even publish this because it might come out looking like a i don't know monkey i don't know the thing is that it's gonna be fun so let's go all right so here we go so i'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure just so you can see it but I'm just gonna go. And I'm keeping in mind the scale, right? Because um, I do want to collage this. And um, and make this work. So another technique that we use when we're drawing is this idea of a plumb line, right? So if, uh, if I put a line right through the middle, what is under Elvis's nose? Where, where does his shirt meet? Um, where does his ear start? Where does it end? So if I'm looking at, um, okay, here we go, I'll show you this. So we're looking at the top of his ear. We notice that it's where his eyes begin, right? So that'll give us a little bit of a guide, right? So eyes. Eyes. And again, everyone's face is different. It also depends on how um, the angle of the image you're taking or where you're looking at these people, right? So this picture, this image is from above. So if we're looking at someone straight, straight on, right, my eyes start right at the line of my uh, ears. Here it's a little different. Um, so, you know, just go with it. So you see where I post, where I put the, now it looks like he has three eyes and that's okay because we're just looking for, uh, we're just looking for lines right now. So Elvis does have huge eyes, but I just gave him massive eyes, uh, which is very nice. And sometimes, uh, it becomes a caricature, right? Because, uh, in the beginning, when you start drawing, it that tends to happen just because uh, it's the things we see first, right? The things we notice. So let's see, the ears are right where the lip is, and then this one, okay. So that's cool, okay. How funny. And again, don't be, this is just for us, right? I If you're gonna do something of a person, uh you know keep it to yourself first figure it out and then share it with them because again people don't know how to handle art sometimes and, and they'll be offended if they're like oh that doesn't look anything like me uh and that's okay okay so i have a basic uh i have a basic elvis right so 
just to switch it up, I'm going to do, I'm going to use a different, um, a different tool. Let me look around real quick. I don't know you guys. I have, ooh, I have a red, yes. Okay, so this this will give me just a different um, sense of line as I'm correcting, right? All right, so tell me a story. I'm almost done with this book that I've been raving about uh, called The Secret Historian. And it's incredible, you guys. So as a, as a gay, queer man, uh, to read the life of a predecessor, uh, you know, someone who whose experience is very much like mine uh, is incredible, uh, you know, because we don't have, uh, usually don't have family who, who share these experiences with us to be able to read an account is just uh, an unabashed account uh, is just amazing. Uh, it is the artist. He was, was he an artist? He wasn't an artist. Although he was very creative, he was a writer. He was a liter. He was a professor of English. Um, his name is Samuel Stewart. I spoke about it last week too, or two weeks ago, no, last week. And um, I think what propels me to read this, and what jumps out, is the sense of loneliness that is very um, relevant. Relevant relevant i can't speak english in the queer experience right because we're so isolated by from society from the get-go so the importance of, of having friends and, and chosen family uh is super uh important right so if you have queer friends if you have um queer family uh you know please check up on them please stay connected because i think a lot of the times as queer people i know i have i I step back automatically to avoid being rejected or hurt. So we isolate ourselves, self-isolate ourselves because society has uh, made us feel that's the only way, right? So it's it, it's really, it's, just, it's sad, but it's also really fascinating. Um, another interesting, um, another interesting thing is also the difference between, you know, gay men and gay women or, or lesbians and, and gays, right? Uh, gay men, because because as men, there is a huge uh, sexual urge that prevents the facilitation. Now I'm getting all academic that, 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 that prevents, you know, long lasting relationships in the community, opposed to a lot of times women have a, an easier, uh, I don't know easier, but it's just a different sensibility about partnerships, right? So he was friends with Gertrude Stein, who was a writer, a queer writer, who had a partner until the end of her life. And then to read about her partner's experience post her death. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful, it's heartwarming, and it makes me want to hold my friends closer, um, queer and not. So, you know, it's, again, it's just a beautiful experience to be able to see someone's life, um, and also to be like, this person was worried about something that never happened, or this person was ambitious about this thing that never came to fruition, or this person is now known for this, even though they had no intention. You know, it's just, it's fascinating. All to say, pick up a biography, um, because they're fascinating. And I mean, the, the problem, the thing that happens to me is that I read this, this book is like 600 pages long, and I read it and, and it was fascinating to me. So now in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm an avid reader. I pick up many other books and I don't finish them. But, um, but the next book I want to pick up is actually from one of our uh, art fam. Uh, I just received a copy of Latin Jazz uh, from Virgil Suarez. So look for that in your uh, bookstores. He is a accomplished creative artist, writer. I mean, I'm super excited. All right, so Elvis is coming along here, you guys. Elvis is coming along. Uh, so let me see. So I'm going to use this again to create to make sure we have the forehead, yes. We have the eyes, yes, for the most part. The nose, oh, the nose, I think I made it a little bit longer than it needed to be. Okay, so let me fix that. Yeah, I'll see. That really helps because these little tweaks are what kind of gives it the uh, 
verisimilitude that, that makes it look more like what you're trying to do, right? And again, using these two colors uh, facilitates you to see the initial lines and then the other lines that, that you're developing, right? This is so cute. Okay. It's uh, fun. So I find my husband to be very cute, very like sweet looking. <laughs> okay, so we did it horizontally. Now let's do it this way. Where does uh, the lip begin? The lip begins here. Okay, we're good here. And the lip ends right under the other eye, which is usually the way it goes, right? Um, Elvis has huge lips. Okay. How funny. Oh my God, I can't. Okay, so I think I have enough information. One thing that I wanted to do was I also wanted to maybe use this paint to um, outline it so it looks more like a cartoon than a painting. But, um, but let me just play with this for a second. Um, because... So when you start kind of drawing it in, uh, use one color for your darks, your shadows, your blacks, and then either a lighter color for the lights or just leave it white for now, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start filling in uh, this. And I love the shape of his hair here. So I'm kind of kind of make sure that, I, that it feels right, right? Okay, so isn't that fun? Okay, so my intention is to you know, get this drawing finalized that I like, and then I'm going to cut it. In the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collage this into another piece of paper. Uh, so then there's layers, right? How does that sound? Do you want to join me in this? Um, so this is where we can kind of really start to uh, shade in. And the best thing to do also, you guys, is to, you know, blue is blue, but also mix in the colors. It makes it really fun, right? So I have a box here uh, that I use for one of our, oof, I also love drawing with pens. We might have to use that. Oops, you saw that? It was just magic. Okay, so I have a darker blue. So I can do that. When was the last time you drew? Do you remember? Um, I always love when I go to like a cafe and I see someone watercoloring or, or drawing. I can never do that in public, I don't think. I don't, I'm too aware. I'm too like... I'm too uh, distracted by what's going on. Okay, so now... Uh, the obvious is the mustache, right? So I just want to use this color to kind of, and I think his face isn't that round. I think he has a little bit more of a jawline here. Okay, good. There we go. How fun. Who would you, um, who would you draw? Who would you draw for a collage? Uh, put it on the comments. Would it be your uncle, your father, your yourself? That would be cool. You know how I love a self-portrait. <laughs> this is hilarious, you guys. Okay. So the way you keep it from looking like a cartoon is, um, you know, you, you develop the shadows and, and you don't use graphic lines. When you use these graphic lines, it starts looking more like an outline, it starts looking more like a cartoon, which I really do not mind at this point. So we'll see what happens. Oh my god. This is hilarious. Okay, and I mean, one of my favorite things about Elvis is his eyes are huge and they're really, really dark. So maybe I just want to start. And they're usually dilated like a cartoon. <laughs> Always tell me, kind of looks like a pug. Okay, I think the eye is a little bit too out, but it's fine. It's fine. We're, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Um, okay, he has a dimpled chin. 
And what this does really is um, when you try something new, you realize how fun and easy it is to collage or, or what you normally do. And this kind of gives you a new perspective of really what you can do with collage and just keeps it interesting, you guys. Come on now. Okay, so I think what I want to do is I want to play with the pen. I love drawing with pen because again, this is kind of like a, um, a searching, right? And then it creates like such nice texture, right? So maybe what I can do is I can use the pen for the, for his fade, right? For his, the side of his hair, his uh, sideburns, the beginning of his cheek. So yeah, so going back to the book, please read it. Or, or no, you don't have to read it because it might not interest you. But I think if you do, um, if you feel lost, know that other people have walked this earth with similar shoes than you. Just look up in history. Like if you're in Indiana and absolutely feel isolated, there have been other people in Indiana who have made ama done amazing things. So just research uh, our history because it's not all about, you know, the people in the news right now. There have been good people. There have been bad people always. And, um, they left us some clues. Okay, noses are, are tricky, so just be careful. And I'm using a pen, which means that I won't be able to erase, but it's okay. Oh my god. Elvis. So that's the fun thing about using, um, or that's the trick about using a pen. You tread lightly, right? So you build up the, the shadow, you build up the light. Um, And also, it's just really fun to look at a person's face, uh, especially the person you, whose face you've seen for such a long time. And you're like, hmm, I never noticed this. I never noticed that. Like, he has this scar on his eyebrow that he got when he was a kid because he fell off a tree or something. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of cool to know. <laughs> you guys, this is too funny. Okay, so now I'm building up that, that shadow here. And again, don't worry, nothing is set in stone. We can go back with actually white paint if, you, if we want to erase some of the eyes so it looks a little bit more crisp, right? Uh, so yesterday was the first day of spring. It was beautiful. There's this cafe that I go to in, um, what is it, the, lower, the village, I guess you would call it. And um, they have this amazing drink called London Fog. And it's a latte with Earl Grey and two shots of espresso, and uh, uh, it's heaven. So yesterday I went to looking for um, a canvas because I also have another sketch that I did that is prompting me to paint. Um, I didn't buy the canvas yet, but um, but it was a perfect excuse to go to this cafe called the Coffee Project, and. Um, Oh, and it was delicious. And I had I had to say, if, if you see something good, please say it. Um, I've been there a few times, and you know I was a basic Starbucks person, right? Which reminds me. Um, I don't know about where you are, but the Starbucks is here, you know, they're not treated well. Um, so they're all very unhappy, and it's very evident. Uh, this place, the people are like I had to ask them, do you guys own this place? Because there's so much joy and love in what they're doing that it feels like they have so much ownership, right? And uh, and I told them, you can taste it in every cup. You can taste the love in what they do. And um, he's like, no, but I appreciate that. Uh, so, you know, if you get good service, let people know. Because it help, it makes people feel seen, right? Okay, so now it's this nose part. This is tricky because it's very easy to go piggish. You, you do the wrong line and it just looks like a snout. So I'm gonna tread lightly here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to look really close. Let's see. Oh God. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'm just gonna look here. So if you get good customer service, which I'm all about, um, please. Which reminds me, I ordered, I ordered these vinyls from this stupid website 
right before Valentine, like not even right in like the first week of February, thinking I give Elvis a good Valentine's gift, but mostly myself. Um, and they haven't arrived. Well, that's me venting. <laughs> I won't tell you the company because then I'm just being vindictive. But uh, but just be careful. Anyway, okay, here we go. His nose goes out like this. This is fun, you guys. Okay, good. So I also have this marker. I don't know what it looks like. Um, I don't know if I want to make him that pink, but let's use it as, um, I don't know if I want to use it as a shadow or what. Now, again, this is a drawing, right? And I love that my source material is actually uh, a different color, right? So I can just go to town with it. So let me see. Oh, I like the yellow. When I was in art school, um, my teachers would always complain because I love making people yellow. And they'd be like, they're actually blue and yellow. Funny enough, that's what I'm doing right now. They'd be like, we're not the Simpsons. There's no yellow people. I was like, you're rude. Uh, so do whatever you want. As you can tell, I have absolutely gone rogue <laughs> in my life. Oh my God, this is so funny. Okay, it's cheek. He's very cheeky. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, so I think this gives me enough. Um, I'm just curious to see what happens if I use this. Just a little bit, right? It doesn't have to be. Again, it delineates. Okay, so I start using it. Now I have to use more of it or else it just looks weird, right? Maybe I'll do it here. And the thing about this is uh, it's never particularly ruined, right? So if you do something and it doesn't work, like if he starts looking like a pig, um, you just keep adding or subtracting by way of... Um, of paint right so don't be afraid if that happens uh, because it's gonna happen and um, it's okay okay so we're going good here I just really want to uh, accentuate the dark so I'm gonna go in and maybe uh, do his eyebrows a little bit more and his eyes right his eyes are so dark that I need to capture that Okay, and he has eye lashes. So you see, it's it's a little bit different, right? As I'm doing this, if you've seen any of my other videos, it's a little bit, the conversation's different, the process is different, and, um, and it's just a different type of uh, movement, different conversation. Okay. Yeah, it's going somewhere. This eye's a little googly, right? Look, what can I do for that? Now it looks like he's crying. Actually, so if... Which isn't a problem because... It, remember, I want to make him cry. <laughs> I want to make him... Um, I want to make it seem like he's, he's crying beams of light. Okay, I'm really happy with this. I just want to make it a little bit more outline because like i said i'm gonna cut it out don't go away all this um and because i'm gonna cut it out i want there to be a definite um outline to follow right Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do his his um his lips, you guys. He has very memorable lips, so let's do that. Okay, this is gonna be good too. Okay, right there. Okay, so maybe his lips all do brown. So he has really, I think, from this picture, they look very wide. Look at that. We're already in our thirty-minute mark, so I'm gonna 
This is definitely going to be a two-parter. So be sure you join in next week and, um, and see what happens. <laughs> this is really exciting, actually. Oh, my God. Okay, yes, this is it. Okay, I'm super, 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 super happy about this. And now, well, let's get to the collaging part, right? Okay, leave, leave me notes in the comments. How do you think this went? Um, this is going to be really, really fun. So this is... Like I said, this is a little bit thicker, so if you have a different blade, it might work better, but it's fine. I'm just going to go to town with my usual blade. Uh, so do consider become um, becoming a member so you can join our weekend hangouts. Uh, they're loads of fun, and they're such a great community, and um, honestly, it's multi-generational, and... Uh, it really, it, you know, I don't see 20 people at once. So to be able to be, to be able to be around so many great people at once is quite beautiful. So I encourage you to do that. Uh, and like I said, once we uh, hit a hundred with the patrons, uh, we're going to go big. I keep saying it's going to be a street gang, but now I just, I need to figure something uh, to be a little bit more concrete as we actually find these numbers. So thank you for joining. Uh, I think it'll be lots of fun. Okay. So you don't have to be perfect because again, this is, uh, nothing has to be perfect, right? So I'm just going to see what I do here. Okay. And I think with something like this, uh, just like collage, just like any other art practice, it's a meditative thing, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to change the... Uh... Do you want to see me paint too? Because I'm going to do a painting. But it's going to be a naughty painting, inspired by the book that I'm reading. So I think it's only going to be available for my members, because I'll be able to put it on the website without YouTube uh, shutting me down. So let me know if you want to see that. Okay. Ta-da! You guys, this is my portrait of Elvis for my collage that I'm going to make. Uh, so stick around. So come back next week. We'll add to this. We'll give it another layer and we'll have tons of fun. You guys, thank you so much for joining uh, me in this wild adventure. Uh, more to come. All right. Try something new. Try something new. The world is changing. Let's change it right along with it. All right. I will see you here, there, and everywhere you take your phone. Go to Collage Dream and become a member now. Uh, all right. Cheers.